Hello guys, do you think that ruins became harder? Yes, as for me they are harder now, but still very easy to pass. So guys, in this video I will show you that you don't need special equipments or pets like Zeus Wand or Sea Dragon. And you will be surprised how it is easy to pass them. Ok guys, before I will start, you can see that to make this video I took some parts of my stream. Every week I stream ruins. So you can see on your eyes how I pass them without Sea Dragon and any double S pets equipment. And you all are welcome to join me guys. But don't forget to subscribe to not miss my streams. As always, I will start with weapons. There are two good weapons, Poseidon Wand and Brave Wand. I prefer Poseidon Wand because it can freeze enemies and when your health is less than 30%, it pushes them back. Very useful skill when you have melee enemies, especially ancient boars. Brave Wand is not worse, as in ruins only your skills or equipments are working, it doesn't matter what attack you have, and Brave Wand will boost your damage, it gives plus 50% to attacking enemies. In camps with melee enemies, I would better use Poseidon Wand, but most of the camps have ranged enemies, so Brave Wand can help you with clearing most camps, especially with bosses. Just use one of them you are comfortable with. For those who has Zeus Wand, you may use it as well. Rin, of course weakness, as it boosts your damage on 20% to freezing, burning and paralyzed enemies. In case with healers, use Werewolf Rin. And to do even higher damage, use Line Bracers, because most of the camps have more than 15 enemies, so you have much higher chance to clear a camp in one shot. Use Magic Crown or Avenge Crown. I prefer magic as it creates balls on enemies' deaths. In combination with Jungle Board, Drill Balls and Shadow Clone skill, you will kill most of the camps uneasy. Ok, why Avenge Crown? Before these ruins, I wouldn't say it, but now we have camps where there are stones behind enemies, so Ancient Boar Pet cannot reach enemies from behind. For such camps, if you have problems with them, I recommend you to use Avenge Crown. Rope, definitely hypnotic, it will decrease damage from ranged enemies on 10%, including boss, and ranged enemies won't attack you every turn. There's only one case when hypnotic rope will be useless, and it is better to use thickened rope, when all your enemies are melee enemies. And the last equipment, boots, use Hermes as they can dodge and heal you on dodge. Artifacts, Dragon Friend Necklace, Vertigan Shield and if you have Apollo's Bow, use it, who doesn't have it, use Warhorn. Dragon Friend Necklace will increase your damage and all your pets get minus 5 cooldown time. Vertigan Shield can save you for 3 rounds, but remember, if the shield is broken in the second round, for example, it won't work anymore. And Apollo's Bow or Warhorn because it increases damage. Now about pets. Two pets you need to use for sure, Butterfly and Octopus, and as a third pet use Jungle Boar, and in case when you have camps with stones behind enemies, use Sea Dragon if you have it. Ok guys, I told you about equipments, artifacts and pets which will help you to easily pass ruins, now it's time for tips and skills you must be hunting for. I recommend you to have Shadow Clone, try to get it even not only for free, but spend that 20 gems to have a chance to get it, or at least better skills. 20 gems is not much. You must have up to 3 insta kill balls. With magic crown, I recommend to focus on drill balls and avoid missiles. And it is better to choose more combo skills, as enemies will become stronger and stronger, your balls will bounce more times, so you will do higher combo. For most of the camps like this, I recommend to use a Polos Bow or Warhorn, with Dragon Fan Necklace at the beginning. So you will have a good boost in damage and with a Polos Bow you can pass a camp with only one shot. Now we have camps with these triangles. To pass such camps, use a Venge Crown and change your jungle boar on a different path. The rest what you need here is a good aiming skill. There was a camp with triangles where you had a weak spot, you could aim at that spot and all your balls went through without changing its trajectory. If you have such camp, just change your position to be able to shoot at that weak spot. In some camps, you can easily pass a camp with a little luck. All you need is to make your balls, or at least one ball, stuck. So guys, there are all tips from me, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel. And watch my streams where I am passing ruins.